Good morning. I want to make an announcement about the front porch videos that will be posted on Friday mornings. And if you could hit subscribe and the bell notification right beside it, and then hit the word all, that will notify you anytime that we post new videos. So we do appreciate it and thank you for your faithfulness to watch these videos and, and share them. So I want to share something with you that Brother David Long, a missionary, uh, shared with me this week. We've been friends for a very long time. He's been missionary for almost 30 years. And uh, I want to share this thought with you. In 2 Corinthians chapter 8, there's a hummingbird right, right beside me. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, more of our brethren, we do to you with the grace of God, bestowed in the churches of Macedonia, how that in a great child of affliction, abundance of their joy and their deep poverty, abounded unto the riches of their liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, beyond their power, their willing of themselves. Now, in verse 5, it says, And this they did not as we hope, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and to unto us by the will of God. Brother David Long said that what he's noticed that in countries where there's a lack of freedom, that the Christians will really prove their dedication to the Lord by being faithful to church and studying their Bible and witnessing to people. But in America, where there's so much freedom, they're very lackadaisical about coming to church. They sporadically study the Bible, if at all, and very rarely do people witness the way they should. I'm going to tell you that that's a sobering thought that when you go to a foreign country, you realize, my goodness, people are open to the gospel here. Dominican Republic or either, uh, even the, uh, the, the Eastern Bloc countries are so hungry for the gospel. The governments might not be, but the, but the people are. And I tell you, it, it's really convicting as, a, as an American Christian to realize that people really, really need to understand to whom much is given, much is required, and that we need to be more faithful and really apply ourselves to the simple things of the Word of God. I hope you have a wonderful day, and may the Lord bless you. God bless you.